Hi, so someone asked a really interesting question on the PsychoPi Twitter page following the original posting of this text box demo here. So they asked, would it be possible to check the correct um, answer or if the, the answer that the participant had made through typing a response, if that was correct? Now, the answer to that is that, yes, that is entirely possible. Um, you simply make yourself a conditions file that has a column that says the correct answer. So this is exactly the same to how we um, treat or check the correct answer in things like keyboard responses. Um, so here we're going to say if the participant types a uh, correct response, then we are going to treat that as a correct answer. So we've fed that conditions file into our loop and we've added this routine here called feedback. Now this routine has a text component and in this text component, we've said, okay, so we want this feedback to be written. And we're gonna set that on every repeat, depending on what the response was. Now in the code component above this, that's where we set this feedback. So we're accessing the text that was written inside our text box and we're comparing it to that core ands column in our conditions file. And this allows us to say, okay, is this feedback gonna be correct or is it going to be uh, incorrect? In fact, I will just change that slightly there to uh, have consistent caps locks. What I can see is that if I just say I'm super lazy and I just type this here, that's going to tell me that that is incorrect. Um, so I'm going to give the uh, experimenter what they want. I'm going to type the correct response and then I get my correct feedback. So we can see that checking the correct answer is exactly the same uh, as we would do with any other kind of response. Okay, so as a final step, we might want to actually save a column that said if this response was incorrect or correct. So to do that, we know that our loop is called trials and to add or save that data, we can just say trials.add data. Then we're gonna say what we want this column to be called. So we'll say correct ands. And we're gonna say that we want this feedback to be saved. Now, if we just wanted this to be one or zero, you can see that we would create a new variable in exactly the same way as we've created this feedback. I'll start by being super lazy again. And then I will be a good participant and give the correct response. Now, of course, a problem here is that it's very easy to make a typo in typed responses. So it might be that I do something like this and then I'm told I'm incorrect. OK, so let's take a quick look at the data. And if I open up my most recent data file here, I can now see that there is a column called correct ands that has told me what feedback was given on each trial. So in this way, we can see how we can record the correct response received from uh, typed responses in exactly the same way as we do with keyboard responses.